Hey viewer, thanks for stopping by and checking out this stream clip. I'm going to be uploading clips of the latest stream here every week, so if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing, be sure and hit the subscribe button to become a coin in the vault, and I hope you are at least mildly entertained by what you see here today. Alright, so, Nineheart, what did you want to talk to us about? Is everyone here? Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> I just do a little moonwalk back over there. <laughs> There's a rumor going around right now about the new transfer student. An ugly one. Ugly? Did you see Cygnus after lunch? She was making out with a student. They had crazy hair like Elvis or something. That's the dumbest rumor I've ever heard. For reals! The only dude around here with hair that messed up is the wannabe bully. And him and Cygnus. That's some Beauty and the Beast stuff right there. So, it had to be him, right? No one else would be dumb enough to start a rumor like that. Actually, I don't think so. Someone is trying to discredit Miss Cygnus. And I doubt this bully is clever enough for that. Ha ha! Okie dokie! I believe it's Mama Dearest. Tatsumani, I think we need more information on this other transfer student. Can you go get us his student records? They're off limits to students, of course. You'll have to be sneaky. I get the sense you like missions like this, yes? Ha ha ha! Sure, if it'll help Cygnus. Let's go. I had a feeling you'd say that. You might be rough around the edges, but you know your place. Good. It's up to you now. We'll wait for you here. All right. Cool. Ah! Well, that was quick. Oh, good. There you are. I was just about to call you. The moats are going nuts! I was barely able to corral them all into the dust zone. Thank goodness all the teachers are out right now. Oh, are you looking for the student records? You're in luck. The moats swept them up when they blew through. Clear them out and I'm sure you'll find them. The moats grab all sorts of things like take them to the dust zone. You can sweep them up, uh, you can sweep them up while you look for what you need. I'll wait here. Really, I don't even think I really need to power up because these things are so weak. Nice! So, why do you need these documents anyway? Oh, that big guy. He's a piece of work, huh? Such a jerk. Wouldn't even pet me. <laughs> it's true! He even kicked me! Get lost, you mutt! I know for a fact I'm cuter than any mutt. That guy is the worst. Anyway, anyways, here are those student records. I've even sorted them for you. I know, I know. If anything, I'm too helpful. Uh, you're the one that got us in this mess in the first place, Elwyn. <laughs> oh, we got just transported to the roof. Cool! You've got the records, right? Let's take a look, then. Oh, here we go. He's the son of Arida, the chief executive. That explains everything. Great. That means you can explain to us. You know, all the people who don't care about executives. The chief executive is... 
Well, she's a monster. Let me tell you a little story. Oh, one year ago. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, Miss Cygnus. It's been a while, hasn't it? I guess the last time we met was, uh, ah, the stockholders meeting. My goodness, you've grown into such a, into such a fine young woman. Wouldn't it be nice, you think, to marry a strong, successful man to, and tend to the home instead of dealing with all this nasty business stuff? Thank you, Miss Arita. Arita, I wonder why you don't follow that advice. Oh! 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 Talk about Uno Reverse Card! Ouch! <laughs> well, I just... What? Well, if you think business is so nasty... <laughs> Look at her face over here. <laughs> she really got it. Uh, well, I'm just looking out for you, dear. She's either dense or quite clever. I appreciate that. So, what can I do for you today? Oh, nothing. I'm just having a look at this fine school you had built, and I was wondering... Why a school, dear? This is pro this is a prime piece of real t property. Why not an office park or a shopping center? Goodness, Mr. M Mrs. Arida, I'm a student. What else would I build if not a school? Huh? I only build buildings that I need. Well, me and the community. So, you built a school. So you could go to school. Makes sense when you put it like that, right? But there was already a school here. I left that one alone and built this new one right next to it. They were at capacity. I also heard the commute was very difficult for the students. Wasn't the school going to be torn down because of that? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I bought a bus company to handle that part. Dang! Nice going! My goodness, you really have thought of everything. Yep, I take school very seriously. <laughs> of course you do. If it wasn't for that idiot sickness, the demolition would have gone through and I would have had this land. She acts like an airhead, but I can see that clever little glimmer in her eye. That moron! Well, if anyone knows a young woman's heart, it's me! Once she marries my son, I can edge her out of the Shinsu Corporation, and the Shinsu Corporation will be mine! Yuck. The truth is, the chief executive is out to take down Miss Cygnus, and the school any way she can. I've held off telling Miss Cygnus because, honestly, the whole plot is ridiculous. But it looks like Arida is making her move. So we have to do something. We must tell Cygnus the truth. Hey viewer, thanks for stopping by and checking out this clip. If you want to see the stream where it came from, be sure and click right there. If you want to have a story narrated to you, be sure and click right there. So until next time, my friends.